Hi. Now before we go through the part B here, just want to recap on the previous part of the question. We were given this hyperbola H with Cartesian equation XY equals 4 or rearrange that's going to be Y equals 4 over X. And we have this point here P with coordinates 2T, 2 over T, T not equaling 0. And we had to show that an equation of the normal to the curve H at the point P was ty minus t cubed x equals 2 minus 2t to the power 4. And now we're being told that the normal to h at the point where t equals minus a half meets h again at the point q. And we've got to find the coordinates of the point q for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now you might want to fast forward just to check the final answer, otherwise I'll take you through the work solution. Now we've got our normal here and we're told it cuts the curve again at this point, say, which is Q, and we've got to find the coordinates of Q. So basically what we've got here is simultaneous equations. We're just going to need to equate our curve with the equation of the normal here. Solve this equation simultaneously. Put in the value when t equals minus a half and solve our equation for x. And basically that's how we're going to get q. So we'll go through this now. We'll just say then I'm going to find out what the coordinates of p would be first of all when t equals minus a half. When t equals minus a half, p would have coordinates 2 times minus a half, which is going to be minus 1. And then we've got 2 divided by minus a half, which is going to be minus 4. Now, I'm going to substitute our equation. That was y equals 4 over x, y equals 4 over x, into the equation of the normal, which we found out in part A. Let's say we call that equation 1. Okay, so substitute that into equation 1. And what do we get? Well, we're therefore going to get t times y, which is 4 over x, so t times 4 over x. And then we've got minus t cubed x, minus t cubed x, equals 2 minus 2t two to the 4, 2 minus 2t two to the power 4. And we'll just border this off a bit. Let's just come up here, okay? So when t equals minus a half, if I substitute this into here, we therefore are going to have minus a half, okay, multiplied by 4 over x, and then we're going to have minus, minus a half, all cubed, minus a half, all cubed, and that's multiplied with the x, and then we got that equaling 2 minus 2 times t to the power 4, in other words, minus a half, all to the power 4. And what does this give us? Well, we therefore have minus 2 over x here for that first term. Minus half all cubed, that's going to be minus 1 eighth. With that minus, that's going to be plus 1 eighth. So we're just going to get plus an eighth x or x over 8. Then if we work out the right hand side, this comes to 15 over 8. So Good idea to get rid of these fractions now. Just multiply through by 8x and that's going to give us minus 16 plus x squared equals 15x. Got a quadratic here in x so we rearrange it just to give us x squared minus 15x minus 16 and that will equal 0. So factorising this we'd have a couple of brackets 
equaling zero. It's going to be an x there, x there, and then we're going to have minus 16 and plus 1 there. So if we just come down here, then what have we got? Well, from this one, x minus 16 equaling 0, x would have to equal 16. Or from this one, x would have to equal minus 1. Now, we've got two solutions here. This one, when x is minus 1, was the x-coordinate for p. So it can't be that. It's got to be x equals 16 then for q. So we'll just put here, therefore, x equals 16 as x equals minus 1 um, is at p. OK? So that means we've now got to get our y-coordinate for when x equals 16. So all I've got to do is sub x equals 16 into, say, the equation of the curve. So that was into y equals 4 divided by x. And if we do that, we therefore have y equals 4 divided by 16, which is a quarter. And so therefore, q has coordinates 16 and 1 quarter. Now you can see that uh, if you look at the diagram here, there's no way that the point Q has coordinates 16 and a quarter. And equally, P didn't have coordinates minus 1, minus 4, when you look at the positions of these on this sketch. But nonetheless, hopefully it's given you an idea of how to go about this problem. It's almost as if P then was down here and Q was up here, just the reverse. Okay.